My bad. I record on my phone and I got a call. Dr. Tracy St. Julian did my DNC and my ablation at Southern Regional. So I have not had a cycle, y'all, since 2022. I know that's TMI. But I was told that I was in menopause and something, something or another, right? But this new doctor has explained so much and um, is just willing to work backwards to try to help me get to a place of where what went wrong and how we actually figure out what is going on with me as far as this pelvic stuff. And so for that, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everybody, the good, bad, and the ugly, because awareness has to come. We have to bring awareness to all these situations. You know, we got to keep speaking up. We got to keep reporting these bad apples in hopes of getting better care. Um, also, for those that message me ridiculous, hateful shit, and for those of you guys that have been through the ringer or understand my situations um, and, and empathize, I, thank you. And, you know, I pray that you all get the care that you need. I've talked to people from all over, all over. And I know the health care sucks in the U.S., guys, but we've got to show up for ourselves and keep asking, keep knocking the door down. I um, had asked about those uh, cancer marker tests because my mom, my grandmother, all my maternal and my maternal grandfather, like it's so much cancer in our family. So that's how we even found out that I had the positive CA-19 or whatever. Um, I've just been diligent about research and asking all the questions that I think that are pertinent to my conditions. And so um, it is hard. It's not for the weak. And I tell y'all, man, I don't know how I do it other than God. That's it. But I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to shut up. And um, the natural path, I just got some labs back from my natural path. They showed my ANA titer was positive. Something about a C3 that was really high. Some other numbers were really high on the ANA. So before it's all over with, they'll probably double back and tell me I got lupus again. But we'll see, because I've been told that I had lupus in 2021 by Dr. Sharma out in Stockbridge. She told me I had lupus. And then, um, bless her heart, she had had a stroke, so you really couldn't understand her. So she had a nurse that worked with her. And then when they said, they came back and said, no, you don't have lupus, and discharged me from the practice. Okay. So it, it's just been trial, error, hit, miss, fuck shit, good shit, all lumped into one, right? But again, like I said in the last video, we'll call this part two. Like I said in the part one, what is the alternative? Shutting up and don't know what the fuck going on? It's one of those double-edged swords. Yes, people keep saying when you piss the system off, they mistreat you. But whether you piss them off or not, they mistreating us. I don't know. I don't know what you all want to do, but I'm not giving up on me. And I just pray that you guys have the strength to not give up on yourselves. A lot of my chronic pain people, I have chronic pain too, but it's not as horrible all the time. But the other day, y'all, I was bent over, doubled over in pain. Endometriosis has been thrown around in there. That's what I meant to tell you guys. But I've never had the laparoscopy. Um, when Dr. St. Julian said, you need to just take that thing out. She was telling me to have a hysterectomy. Well, you all know about the, the situation that she's in. So she can't do my hysterectomy. So that means, you know, working with my new doc that is, you know, really pouring into me and giving me great information and, you know, research and information that is, um, 
I want to say trustworthy because I don't trust nobody in this system. But the doctors that I've met that I'm building a rapport with, I, I am trusting. I'm, I'm like, I'm so shell shocked and hyper alert when I go into these places that it is hard to listen sometimes. But I'm having to let my guard down and listen because a lot of times things aren't evidence based. You might just have a whole bunch of symptoms and it could be whatever, right? So sometimes you got to dig, you know, one thing may not justify the other. I, I don't know, you know, so you, you've got to dig, you've got to do the test, you've got to figure the shit out. And so my new GYN, um, she's great. And um, yeah, that's it. That's all. I am. I am just trying to stay positive. Because again, it is a mental and emotional situation when you go into these places where you've been mistreated and you're trying to, you know, be receptive. It is hard, but but you gotta, you know, benefit of the doubt. I, I, I do do that. But then I also know that when people are talking crazy and the shit don't make sense, I, I know to go and keep asking questions, keep asking questions till it makes sense to me. And if y'all call that complaining, do what's best for you and I'm going to do what's best for me. So y'all have a great Friday. Bye.